Hello my dear friends and welcome to another Marine Engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today my dear friends you will have the opportunity to see some tips for pressure regulating valve, you will see some piping diagrams, you will see a lot of tips, a lot of things, uh, descriptions which will be for sure very interesting for all engineers. For new engineers mostly it will be something interesting but all the videos have something to give you some tips some details some share experience which i really like to do thank you that you have subscribed your thumbs is always on the top and i really really appreciate your comments through our travel in this world of marine engineering you will see a lot of things you will see a lot of physics to be applied in the real engineering world and together with that we need to work with rules as have regulated through the time a lot of changes in the marine engineering industry which will affect all the personnel which contribute on that system so in shortly we will start our videos don't forget to check my previous videos I have made also simulators and also I really, really like when you say something interesting in your comments you propose some videos I really like to make uh, all of these videos but also in my mind I have some plan to do and share some videos which will be also absorbed by the new engineers and they will have a way how to approach the work at itself don't forget your safety is your priority and all priority always this is the beginning and after the work will come and now we will see and we will have a close look where is this pressure regulating valve located how it looks like how you can determine it on the piping diagram I have all the compressed air system here as you can see with all the equipment with all the piping and you can see exactly where the our compressed air is going so what I will do I will make zoom our pressure regulating located here and in the most of the vessels and the most of the ships of this kind uh, you will see it closely of these two air reservoirs one and two only the one of the reservoir is under working and the other is on the standby mode it's pressurized so you will have enough air in case that in, in any emergency situation or in the maneuvering when there is a lot of consumption of compressed air to main engine as you can see the line to main engine is go here direct 30 kilos from the air reservoir from this valve here it goes and travels here to the main starting valve of main engine but our pressure regulating valve it's located here I will make more zoom so you will have a clear view it locates here and this is how it looks like we have a small triangle and a big triangle that means our pressure will be reduced from 30 kilos to 7 kilos or you can say it in bars 30 bars to 7 bars as you can see from our main air bottle reservoir uh, uh, as you like to say there is a valve which is also from the other one we have two valves okay one also is working we have some pressure switches here for any alarm for also indication we have here also a pressure indicator from where you can see 
uh, what pressure you have on the on the output also we have some valves here as you can see 21 and 23 which you can isolate but before you isolate and you make any maintenance on this uh, pressure regulating valve or the filter you must bypass your air from here so you will not interrupt the normal operation of other systems which use compressed air and the maintenance the reason why we do that kind of maintenance is because inside there are some components which we will see in the photos and we will speak in more details about them they have some damage on the seat so the air and the valve is unstable the flow is unstable also the working of the valve it's not correct it's not proper sometimes it's more, more open it's leaking and the pressure will play so how you will observe that problem in case that you have a unstable pressure because also as we know we have always consumption through the line and if for some reason the valve is stuck or remain in some position which is not properly it will not supply the quantity that needed for uh, the system so you will have somewhere air alarm of low pressure or in some cases you will have have a, a safety valve which will open that we have in our case uh, we observed from quick closing valve uh, air reservoir which locates on the foam room we observe the leaking of pressure due to overpressure because uh, this pressure regulating valve was not able to have a stable uh, pressure adjustment so as you can see here this is there which reduced to 7 kilos go here to emergency shut off valves here okay it goes in another page or a page where you, where you can see uh, what it does but this go to emergency shut off valves uh, for quick closing valves for the funnel uh, fans which supply for the main engine engine and all engine at all also for the funnel louvers there's also supply and some quick closing valves uh, which is located on the engine room mostly of them for the tanks for the diesel generators for the fuel shut off valves and you will see that for uh, as i can uh, as i said before from over pressure or low pressure and also every morning uh, when i make my round i observe if you have with stable pressure on the lines and the regulator is working so this is how it looks like this is a symbol of normal valve that means they're passing one side in another direction and also we have a Y type strainer here it's called Y type because make this uh, symbol of this letter this is the reason that we call that one and here every morning also somebody must be assigned also me I check that system that is free from any moisture which is very important for compressed systems to avoid to have oil and water inside the system the air must be as much as pure and clean so we will continue to the pictures to see more details let's continue and now we can see the spring the main spring that is inside we can see also some uh, metal sheets which transfer the force of the spring to the uh, supports of the system so the force will be transferred as much even and equal as possible we have also specification of the valves 
from where you can order and you can take all the spare parts you can check what spare parts you have there is a full description also you can see the cover the top cover uh, of the spring have already marks so we will not put any marks but even if you forget always check that there is some letters of on the pressure regulating valves also in the valves so you will not make any mistake it's not necessary always to put this kind of marks and damage the surface of uh, the equipment also there is a label posted uh, so keep these labels clean do not paint them and also be careful your oilers and wipers about that so they will not paint because there is a, a model information the size the pressures from where you can also find your spare parts you can order also and you can find also the manuals which you will use for overhauling there is also a specification description which you can find on board the vessel there is a sketch of this valve you can see all the items one by one and this is really really helpful for engineers to see and order whatever they need So the spring usually not broke, it's really really strong. Okay, the gaskets after will be replaced, we will set new gaskets. And always try to put the same size of the gasket that you have removed and place them uh, the same place as it was before. So now we will move to our last photos to see exactly what we did on that of kind of job. And as you can see, okay, we remove the cover, we check the spring, we check the plates if they are positioned properly, if they have any damage, was all fine. The only thing that we have, as I said before, is that rubber which make the seal with the metal surface. Was damaged through the time because this valve is always closed and open and moves up and down. And also from the pressure gauge here, which is located local, you can determine the pressure difference. Must be stable. The pressure must be stable in all the range of the working. And this is where the rubber locates this is the surface that make the seal also remember because i have found any some marks on here this surface is stainless steel and be very very careful when you dismantle and when you use also uh, the equipment okay the tools because I have seen some marks that somebody tried to remove and make damage to the surface. This, when you make some scratches to the surface, this maybe will make a, a stack of the valve and not free movement when you assemble back again. Try to do the job as clean as possible. As you can see, I have removed the rubber and I have set a Teflon which I make in the left machine the same sizes because we do not have exactly the same spare we have for another size anyway we order that one and for the moment we place this one but as I seen the Teflon is also it's really really good for sealing and as I observe for four months, we do not have any inclination of the pressure uh, of six kilos. Was exactly steady, was always supplied with air. We do not have any, any problem. So the pressure is adjusted to six kilos, which is fine. Five kilos, it's less. Six, it's very, very fine. You can set also some mark here or 6.5. It's fine. So now 
you have some details about this pressure regulating valve, you know where it is, what it does, and how to check what to be careful when you are on board. I'd like to thank you that you have stayed tuned all this time and don't forget to check my previous videos.